good morning welcome to the max thank you for joining us thank you for watching our channel uh, if you're new to the channel go down here click subscribe and ring the bell that way you know what's always going on here at our channel uh, as we talked a few last few um, videos basically we're gonna get some cottonseed meal on uh, those fields that uh, that the cows just came out of so that way we'll be able to to hopefully see some good growth come back on those over the next 30 to 45 days uh, maybe even longer you see over here chickens are still in the orchard got the other orchard planted as y'all saw in the last few videos so it's good to see that stuff growing and thriving uh, we actually after we milked we brought Elsa over with her baby to kind of chill over here in some of these good fields behind the greenhouses and of course took Allie over to her baby so we're going to check on them, make sure they're okay after milking this morning, put them over, it's still dark. So we'll check on them and then from there we're going to go and get started for the day and uh, get our spreader and go start doing some cottonseed milk. Alright, beautiful morning. It's cool and brisk. You see uh, Elsa over here using this, these two paddocks. Uh, there's not a lot of grass in there, that's more of our holding paddock. So we've got them both open so she can get some fresh grass or some water over here and they hadn't been in there. So we'll give them some hay. There's a... Uh, Baby Kristoff, chilling. He's enjoying that sun. He's actually been sitting there for about 30 minutes. So. so he's doing good. Over here, see Daddy O basking in it. You see Allie and her baby Josie. You see Mr. Ike and Beauty. So everybody's, everybody's looking good this morning. It's always good just to come check everything, make sure all the, the fence is okay. At dark when I milk, I can't I can't see, so I don't know. They need some more water. So we get that. I was talking to Miss Mac, and we were discussing. Um, we're actually going to do a little run for the the hen house chickens and also the pigs. We were going to do some new gardens right there close to the house too, more as a kitchen garden. So when we do that, we need it tilled up. So we're going to use natural tillers like we always do with our chickens and pigs. So we're going to use one of our fencing, not not for the permaculture chickens that we're using for the orchard and also for the garden. We're going to use our hen house chickens and also the pigs again to till up the spot right kind of beside there beside the hen house and beside the raised beds and all that so we'll show you a little bit of that today or next video we'll see hopefully you can get to it today we're also going to try to tarp this we do need to put a little bit more covering in here where the pigs tore it up a little bit too much uh, we're going to get some bark and put in here in topsoil in some of those low areas where it's holding water then we're going to silage tarp it so we can rest and this will be a great garden spot for fall permaculture orchard chickens will start in here as soon as we get to the point of getting everything ready for that so a lot going on here we're going to go ahead and get started with the cottonseed meal first once we do the cottonseed meal we'll go ahead and start on the rest of the chores now one more thing about cottonseed meal if you don't know this again as we get in the garden season cottonseed meal is a great uh, nitrogen booster for your garden we use it for our garden we use it for our grass um, so another good reason to use cottonseed meal is if you're needing if your compost is needing a booster just as it adds nitrogen to the grass and nitrogen to your garden it does a world for your compost it accelerates the compost makes it kind of heat up a little bit quicker so a very good way to use old uh, cottonseed bill that you you just have or if you have extra put some of your compost mix it in it accelerate it make it do better done filled two starting So all that's done, we've actually got the uh, some organic soil that we're going to do the seed starts with, with our broccoli and our onions and our lettuce. Uh, and then also we've got a new Premier One uh, fence. So we've got, uh, we'll leave a link below to that in our Amazon store. Um, don't tell anybody, it might be a little bit cheaper to buy it from Amazon than Premier One sometimes. So don't tell anybody. Uh, but we'll leave the link there. Uh, great, great fence. I cannot say enough good things about the Premier One fence. There are some cheaper versions of it. Um, but to be honest with you we've we've tried them they don't hold up to the premier one fence the shocker not that the, we had the meat chickens the black one and then this one right here on these these white ones that we have we've we've got it we believe in it it does great so uh we're gonna go and get this set up for the chickens to come out of the hen house let them just kind of roam around the yard for a little bit give the hen house a break also we'll put some de in there because again it's good to make sure we're treating that area well because chickens can um have real big respiratory issues 
our major egg productions in our hen house and to be honest with you we've just had rainy weather so we're going to let them come on out for a little bit and once they come out we're going to move the fence around let the hogs come out so guess what we are tilling our ground up feeding our animals and making a place for us to feed ourselves so isn't that so cool all right carrots are still planted from a few uh weeks ago misty planted or actually probably two months ago we're going to get some uh we've got some fertilizer around them some organic fertilizer we're also going to do some fish emulsion because we need those to come on up they're kind of you know sparingly but to be honest with you i hate to just tear them up so we've put some new uh compost topsoil there we've put some new compost there that'll be where we plant our onions they did great last year there and then the last one here uh, we've put some old lettuce and and just some old compost some just some just junk stuff from our compost but it's quality 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 so look at that man beautiful soil like black gold so uh we've got that you see it's just kind of nasty right now because some of that lettuce is still in there uh and you know some of the lettuce will come up and that's okay but we're gonna coat this back down again every one of these beds will get more dirt and that way these will be ready this will probably be um some late late garlic we're planting also um maybe some more onions uh we like onions and we like to cook with them so we'll probably i don't know what's gonna go right here we'll allow miss mac to make that decision but right now we're gonna get this fence up you see that door and you see I mean, it's, it's not terrible because we put chips in there and things like that but we're gonna just make it go all the way around here because the future that's where the bachelor pad was we tore it down because it needed to go the bachelors are now back with the hens in both places because we're gonna start incubating so again sustainability but basically that fence will go all the way around here kind of where the meat chickens were and this will be garden spot so this has already got good quality soil here because we've had our our meat chickens here but we're supposed to put some more chickens here to break that grass on down and then go ahead and that way um, the pigs will just run right on out and break this on down too so one good thing is we'll use this for gardens we're thinking about planting right here all in front of the pigs um, we're thinking about going and plant some buckwheat and that way it'll thrive for the bees and the bees can kind of feed off of it maybe even some, some clover just simply right here in front and make it real pretty through here as uh and that way you can just heal the ground we're not eating it we're just utilizing it for our bees net is up for the chickens we're fishing i'll show you that we haven't released them yet i got the net up but i forgot just to conserve hay lately what we've been doing is allowing our, our cows to not just have piles of hay uh they're right next to this ryegrass paddock so we're not letting them just take it down because like i told you sometimes when the cow eats so much ryegrass uh, it could cause them to to have the scours or basically just uh the ruins so we don't want to do that especially to our milking cows because they, they just drain them so we've just been turning them out on the rye grass just for a, a few hours during uh eating time and i'm not gonna let the because i don't have the solar panel on it the energizer on it our other cows are pretty good but i'm not gonna let josie in here i'm just gonna let uh just Alec. so let's go and get them in this rye grass paddock and that way they get some fresh grass come on girls Come on, Daddy. You. Come on. Come on. Let them eat some fresh grass. Now, I don't want, like I said, I'm going to run Josie away. Just because I don't need Josie out here. Just because, if you see, this is just simply temporary fencing. Now, my cows have learned. They think it's how hot all the time. And I'm not telling you to, to not leave an energizer on all the time. But we've not had a lot of sun, so I'm letting our energizers just really fill up with, with some charge. But... I'm going to turn them out on it. I'm going to let Ike come on out. And then I'm going to close this gate back. Let Josie just kind of hang out in there. So uh, I think that would be wise. We definitely want Ike in here. Because that way he can get some, uh, get some grass. He needs to grow. Hopefully by later this year we're going to put him in freezer camp. walking through here it's kind of junky right now but i love seeing the tools for the the tractor which i don't use a ton of anymore but i love seeing them love having the trailer cattle trailer right here but just turn and look you can see you know the greenhouses you can see the house you can see both chicken houses you can see the monster garden over here uh just makes you feel good to kind of see it all and like i said it's not the whole farm but it's a good bit a good big portion of the farm and there's nothing like uh just enjoying it after especially been working hard on it 
Uh, the last thing we're going to do today, as I said, is just let release the chickens in their new run. Uh, and then after they work it, like I said, we may just turn around and put the pigs in it. Now we will have some garden spots for fall this year. So you see where we're at. We have the bees here, as you know. Our orchard's right here with the permaculture chickens in there. The reason we name them that so you can always keep up with what we've got. This is the permaculture chickens, which are layers too, but our actual hen house, which we call the layers, basically are over here. That's our, our uh, you know, mostly our younger hens that we all grew off of than one main old hen. All the rest of them are young. These are more of our older hens. There's two younger hens in here just because they went with them. But basically permaculture chickens. We've got the hog fence right here. Now, we've connected the hot wire fence. Now, we're not going to heat this up because we're just doing it during the day. They're just coming out for a few hours, and then we'll put them back. If we see that they're starting to jump out, then we'll put them right back in their hand house. I doubt they do because this is going to be a lot of fresh ground. So, basically, we have the hot wire fence. goes around. goes all right here. comes around. And leaves it open right here, kind of a little run to come into. So it's a huge spot. This is actually where we processed our chickens. So it's got good, basically good fertilization because we've got, this is where the blood all kind of went that didn't go into the buckets. It's where all the evisceration happened. So it's got a good base, but we need tillage. So we're going to bring them in, let them get what they want. And then we'll bring the real tillers in. Open their gate because they got the same, it can work for both. So they'll come out of their little paddock. Again, it's muddy back here because we got to hay it today. They'll come in here come out jump over the ledge which is all they know how to do and they'll come in the same spot now this is not really a lot of big garden spot but this is where i need tilling done because this is where we're going to put some zinnias we're going to put some cover crop we're going to put some clover we're going to put some uh, buckwheat for the bees this is going to be more the bee habitat all through here right on the other side of the orchard so this is be where they feed and then basically as we get a little bit further away all this here will be the garden spot so once they work this area We'll move this net back another 10 to 15 foot they'll work it again so we're going to incrementally get them back to where they got another 15 foot row and that'll match up with our orchard tree so very we're trying to square it off because i'm obsessive compulsive so we'll make sure it's squared off really well but if we can get some good garden and spots right through here along with our big garden that just leads us to one more vegetation sustainable uh choice there we're really trying to become some more sustainable 2020 will definitely be meat sustainable, but we need to get vegetables sustainable. I uh, love vegetables, but just tend to not grow as much as we need to. So we're going to try to get there. We do it with our beans. We do it with our, our greens, but we need to do it with everything else. So hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't much, but just doing a little work around the farm, but that's what we do. We work around the farm. So we hope you enjoyed it. Please come back. Share us with uh, your friends. Our goal is to teach and hopefully learn from each one of you as we get comments back from you. Our goal is to uh, do this homesteading journey together. So we hope you're enjoying the Max channel. Thank you again for watching. God bless you. Happy homestead, y'all.